<laughs> Yo guys, what's happening? It's your boy Nick Che coming back with another video. Today we're filming a mukbang and Q&A with my high school best friends. This is Emma, this is Alyssa. Hello. We have got some Chick-fil-A today. Courtesy of Chick-fil-A, um, McDonald's. Not sponsored, Not hashtag sponsor. should be. Hashtag Chick-fil-A, let's, let's collab on something. Today, I asked you guys to send me some questions that you guys want to answer about me. And since these two people know me the best, probably since like sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. So that's about like seven, eight years. Let's start easy. How often do you guys contact each other? I'm still friends with people from elementary school, which is crazy. We are just like a family. Um, What's crazy is that like, we go through phases where we do talk a lot, and then we go through phases when we don't. Like, but what's weird is like I could not talk to Nick for six months and then hang out one on one with him and it's like I saw him the day before. Literally, we'll go like yeah, six months or like the summer and the winter breaks and it feels like nothing changed. Yeah, yeah. We're like all doing our own things and stuff, but like we still check in and like Snapchat each other. We have a group message on Snapchat that we always like talk in. OG squad. I talk to you pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. I would say. I mean, it's just like you catch up and you're like, hey, how's it going? Especially when I see you post something, I'm like, oh, Nick. Mm -hmm. um, what colleges do your friends go to? I should have started with that, but... Uh, oh, no, it's okay. I go to Texas A&M, and... I go to the University of Arkansas. Woo pig. Gigum. Okay, order your high school years from best to worst. That's easy. Oh, God. Senior, Senior year? year? No, sophomore year. Really? The best. Oh, 100% the best. Can we talk about how great middle school was? Like, middle yeah, middle school is better, though, let's be honest. Mine was probably... Senior year is probably the best. Yeah. Freshman year is the worst. Freshman year sucked. I didn't know what I was doing. No, I agree. What are your majors and how do you like it? Okay, well, I'm a comm major. I want to do communications and business. I like it so far. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet with it, though. Um, I'm sure. I was recently a nursing major and I decided that I liked to sleep and I would want to keep my hair, so it changed. And now I'm marketing. I haven't started any of my classes for it yet, but I'm really, really excited and I think it'll be a good change oh, for me. Oh. What about you, Mr. Princeton? Yep. Um, I was economics, but I am recently applied for something called an independent concentration, which I'll talk more about later if I get accepted, but it's essentially like making your own major. Um, you know, I'll definitely talk about it more later, but next question. Favorite YouTubers? Ha! Huh. Okay, so I love makeup and beauty and stuff, so I love like Laura Lee and Jeffree Star and James Charles. Ah, oh, James is a queen. I love you. You go next. Um, favorite YouTubers, David Dobrik. I love him. I think he's so funny. Other YouTubers, um, Teaching Men's Fashion, because I'm obviously a big fashion guy. Uh, Alex Costa is also a big fashion channel. For me, I love Desi Perkins. I don't know if you've ever been. Oh my gosh, she is an icon. Mm -hmm. What did high school not prepare you for college? Mm. Oh my god, the multitasking. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, in high school that like you don't learn until you get to college, just like Time management, like as much as you can learn it in high school, you don't really mm. figure it out until you get to college just because there's so much things you have to do in a day. I mean, these two, like they work a ton and they go to school so, and she's in sorority and she works, you know, how many hours a week, so. Like 30. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely something you learn as you go and as you like develop your, you know, college lifestyle, but. Mm -hmm. And like the thing about freshman year of college, it's a lot of trial and error. Like I, my freshman year of college, first semester, I hated my life. I did not want to do anything because you're figuring out how to like manage classes and have time for your friends back home that you still want to stay in touch with and if you're in a sorority or you're in different clubs you have to make time for those and then like you don't know anyone there like you don't have a footprint in the town that you went to school at so you like have to make your footprint and you have to put yourself out there and it's really hard because for so long you've been in a town where everyone knows who you are and then to go somewhere where no one has any idea of, like what you're about it just is really hard but then like you just figure it out and one day you're like Wow, I kind of like it here. And then you just coming home, you're like, oh my God, I need to get away. I think, yeah, I think coming home too, I guess a big thing for me was like, your parents are still gonna wanna tell you what to do. And even though nine months out of the year, you're on your own doing your own thing, to come home and have your parents tell you what to do also can be very Those frustrating. Yeah. Challenging, yes. I know Emma can relate to that for sure, but. You have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, I would say just find your rhythm, get out there, make mm -hmm. friends. Yeah, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Just Netflix is your friend too, but only on weekends. Yes. And when you're taking a study break. Not for sure. sure. Netflix all you want. <laughs> <laughs> what album slash artist helped you get through any high school issues if you had any? We, we oh my god, no, no, no. I literally you, she, Night Visions night by Imagine oh, Dragons. The best we album would literally ever. middle school. I think for two straight years we would just sit in our one of our really good friends Summer's backyard. 
and we would just listen, listen to, it. to it the whole time. I think, I think overall, just like Night Vision, that whole album, like really just like defined a good like two to three years of our life. Mm -hmm. The just, nostalgia. Yeah, just, oh, it, it really is. <laughs> I have a lot of memories said. attached to it. That's like we got close listening to that album and, and like, we saw it there. We liked them before they were Imagine Dragons. And in my opinion, I think. We're like the OG. Yeah, really. And before they were like huge or whatever. And like, I think that Night Vision is what the album that made it them peaked, so bro, big. It peaked. No, it really did. Ask your friends if they think you should change your hairstyle. They've seen my hair go through a lot of different changes. Oh my god, that bleach blonde. Yeah, oh I, used to have god. It, <laughs> I used to have it bleached for a while. What else? The color. Yeah, there's a lot of different color phases. It has come a long way. It has come a long way right now. I like now. it now. Okay, what is your favorite trait about Nicholas? I know. The one that immediately came to mind was just like his desire or want to just like be the best at everything. Like no matter what he likes or what he's interested in, he will thrive in it and like make sure he's the best at it and knows the most about it, no matter how challenging it yeah. is. I would say you probably, you kick ass at like wanting to, like just, I think your drive itself, like I wish I had the drive that you had to do, accomplish these things and Thank you, thank you. Build your career and be so successful and for us to be able to be some of the people that are on that journey with you is no, I, pretty I, cool. I mean a, a lot of this and like where it all comes from is like I couldn't have done it without these people like they know they see me my words They see me my best and they stuck with me through it. So I appreciate you guys. Of course. We love you. Of course. So much. Does Nick Chase slay ladies? Oh, Che, I'm a Che Bay for life. Like, uh -huh. I I will copyright that hashtag for, for sure. That's a merch. No, I, I, I well, don't, Well, I, I, okay, me and Emma have talked about this. We have our person in mind that, like, we want you to be with. Uh-huh. Not be named. But, like, we're not, not gonna name named. her. What's Nick's pet peeve? Annoying people. <laughs> I would think people that, like, people that oh. copyright his stuff. Now that's some, Shut that's some tea. That is some tea. People, I think a lot of it is people who underestimate him That's because, facts. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. who don't who don't see the vision. Uh uh, or they think that he's just a kid and doesn't know what he's doing. But like, honestly, <laughs> fuck off. Facts, girl, facts. The tea. The tea. The yeah. tea. People are jealous. Still. No, I would honestly say like people taking credit for your stuff because mm -hmm. you worked so hard for it. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What was it like in school with balancing work, hobbies, and having a social life all at once? I mean, I still do that, honestly. Yeah. It takes practice and you have to find what works for you because what works for someone might not work for someone else. Mm -mm. And it's definitely not something you're gonna figure out right away. It mm -mm. definitely takes at least like a year. Trial and error, yeah. 100%. Just like figuring out how you're gonna manage like this amount of hours for homework, then go to work, mm -hmm. then go to hang out with your friends. Like it's just a balancing act. I guess I found myself comparing myself to a lot of people because mm -hmm. I would see them go out every night, come back and take this test and make like an A and I would stay in and study all night and I would still wouldn't do as good. So I think really like how they kind of focus, like staying true to like who you are and your work methods. And it is also considered cool to stay in too. I think, yeah, I think that's like a big oh point God, to yeah. emphasize. Like going out is not that fun like every night in a row. How do you pull through all the last semester of senior year? <laughs> I think I went to school for like three hours a day because I had senior in and mm -hmm. senior out. Uh, so my senior year was a flipping breeze but i guess the scariest part would be like getting all your stuff ready for college yeah i think i think especially after like this january 1st deadline of college applications i was just like straight chilling for the rest of the mm -hmm. year me because, too like once you like nothing once you know where yeah, you're going once you know where you're no going worries. there's there's no words because there's nothing you can do or change and you know just enjoy the last like few months of high school i really think that like the last semester of senior year was like the best time it was because i do so many things for seniors yeah. and like and you realize like this yeah and then that summer was just so much fun before we all went to school. It was so much fun. Best album of 2018. Travis Scott. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. No, honestly, like. Yeah. And Shawn Mendes the album. Those okay. Good. Top two. Top two. Beer bombs and medleys was good. Oh, so good. Yeah, that was. Um, Scorpion. Fuck the Scorpion. That's good. Oh, oh Khalid. Yeah. And, and his EP so this year was good. really good. Billie Eilish. Oh, I was about to yeah, ask, like, love her. what was our new favorite artist right now? She is. That's all we listen okay, to. Okay, let's do before. top three favorite artists right now. Okay, also, so our friend Zane, too, he has mm. this really good song. Hit him up. Called Lucy. Yeah. He's, his name is The Carter Sue. Everyone, honestly, like, go check out The Carter Sue on Spotify. Uh, like, his music is no, he's, pop. And he's not sponsoring so us either, but, no, like, but like, oh, it's lit. It's lit. lit. He'll be <laughs> big one day. Yeah, you, you heard it here first. Like, we're, we're putting this on the record. Okay, um, last question. What roles do each of your friends play in your life? 
than we are to each other. No, I feel like both of these people are like the older sisters I never had. Just the fact that they always take care of me, they're always looking yeah. out for me, making sure I'm doing okay. And like literally every time we come home, like there's not a break or a time that I'm home that we don't make an effort to see each other just because like we need each other. Like. And, and like like we said earlier, it's like you can go months without seeing each other and it's just nothing has changed. We've just grown and matured in our own ways and we support each other in everything that we're doing. And mm -hmm. I think that's the most important part of a friendship. I do too. Like we yeah. all are doing different things. Like everyone's like, so different that like, yeah, but we, you want everyone to succeed. Mm -hmm. We talked about that last time. We so want like, everyone, mm -hmm. to, I want to see every one of them succeed and no matter what they do and whatever makes them happy. I think the coolest thing is gonna be like when we're all adults and just like still hanging out. Like the fact that we've been friends for like eight years now, it's like there's no going back. There's no going back. Like we're not not gonna be friends. Anyway, that about wraps up for this mukbang Q and A. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have their Instagrams linked down below. Make sure you guys go get them a follow. They are super awesome people, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.